So today I'm talking about a P2119 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P2119 code? Well, it's a throttle actuator control, throttle body range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, a throttle body controls all the air going into the engine. There's a plate that's going to open up as the gas pedal is pressed and more or less air is going to go into the engine depending how open this plate is. When throttle bodies were first introduced, there was a cable that ran to the gas pedal up to the throttle body. And as the pedal was pressed, it pulled on this cable and the throttle body opened up. But in most newer vehicles, they replace that cable with what is called an electronic throttle control system, where the computer is controlling how open that plate is. And there can be differences inside of these systems. So if you do go to work on a vehicle with a P2119 code, be sure to get a diagram for that specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how these systems work is that the gas pedal is going to have a sensor on it. And as the gas pedal is pressed, it's going to report this information to a computer. This can be a dedicated computer called a throttle actuator control module, or it could be controlled by the computer, the PCM or the ECM. It's really going to vary, but a computer is going to be controlling this whole system. There's a small little motor that's built into the throttle body and the computer is controlling the voltage to that motor to open up or close that plate. There's also what's called a throttle position sensor and that's reporting back to the computer if the plate is opening up. But when you get this P2119 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with this plate opening up, that it's not inside the right position that it's supposed to be. The definition for the way this code is set is the throttle valve opening angle continues to vary greatly from the target opening angle, which basically means that that throttle body plate is not inside the position that the computer thinks that it should be. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2119 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a dirty or bad throttle body. It is very common for these throttle bodies to get all dirty, to get a lot of buildup on them. And if they do, if they do get a lot of buildup on them, then that could just throw everything off. It could throw off all these sensors and different things along those lines. So if you look at your throttle body and it looks really dirty, it can be a good idea to go get some throttle body air intake cleaner. Basically, you spray inside of there and just clean it up real good. There's some good videos on how you go about doing this. And quite often that does solve a lot of issues. So if you look at that throttle body and it does look really dirty, it might be worth it to go and try to clean it up. The throttle body might have also gone bad and need to be replaced. There's a small little motor that's built in there. It might have burnt out. There can also be a lot of gears and different things like this going on inside of there. And if any of this has problems, then that's going to cause issues. One thing to mention is that the throttle body is bad, that does need to be replaced, is that some vehicles, computers, they need what's called a throttle relearn procedure, where the computer learns the small variances that's going to be built into the new throttle body. Sometimes when you clean up a really dirty throttle body, it can also need a throttle relearn procedure. How the throttle relearn procedure is done is really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this. Quite often, you could just let the vehicle run for a little bit, even drive it around, and the computer automatically relearns. But just keep in mind that if the throttle body is replaced, or sometimes if it's really dirty and cleaned up, then the computer might need what's called a throttle relearn procedure. But the first thing that could cause this is a dirty or bad throttle body. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle actuator control module, or a bad engine control module, or bad powertrain control module. Whichever computer is controlling that little DC motor that's built into the throttle body, this isn't going to be too common. And usually when there is some kind of problem with the computer, you're going to get a lot of other codes. Also, if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure that the battery is good. You can even check the alternator output and be sure that's good. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply or that can cause problems. But the next thing on the list is going to be that the computer is having some kind of problem. But like I said, it is kind of rare for a computer to go bad. And when it does, usually there's a lot of other codes. The next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor or a bad pedal position sensor that's located down at the gas pedal. If one of these other sensors go bad, then that can throw everything off and that can cause this P2119 code. Of course, usually if that happens, you'll be getting another code. So for example, say the pedal position sensor is having a problem, then usually you'll get another code for that. So like a P1121 accelerator pedal position sensor range performance problem. If you were to also get this code, then it's a good idea to go do some tests and be sure that that pedal position sensor is working correctly, because if it's not, then that's going to cause problems. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. This is going to be something like an open, a short, a blowing fuse, a bad connection, something along those lines. It's going to be a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses, anything labeled like ETCS, ECM, throttle control, anything along those lines. Which fuse is controlling the throttle actuator control system is going to vary. It's going to depend on the year, the vehicle, to make the model. But it's a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses. 
but the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2119 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.